Hi guys, today's video is sponsored by BT Artbox and we're going to be looking at their Xcoat system. Now I've been seeing these all over TikTok for a really long time and they've been on my list to try. So I wanna introduce them to you in case you have not seen these. So this is BT Artbox's three-in-one soft gel system. They call it their X-Coat system. These tips are one of the strongest, if not the strongest nail tips I've ever tried. They are thick and sturdy at the top of the tip, but then they taper down and they get thin down here by the cuticle. Even just trying to test the bendability is like kind of hard. I have to actually push as hard as I can to bend it. And what I like is it didn't crack and I can also like put it back to normal. Like it looks still good as new. These are really durable. And then hopefully you guys can see the texture, but the inside of this is matte because it is already primed and ready to go. You don't have to file the inside. You don't have to put any primer on the inside. They are ready to go as is. And yes, they are truly actually just ready to go. When using these, I don't put anything on the inside and they stay like a rock. Now by the look of these, it might be a little confusing because they look like regular press-ons. Regular press-ons meaning they would be put on with glue, but these are put on with a gel. And you can see there is color on the bottom of the nail here where you would want to cure the gel. And that is okay on these. They will fully cure. They are meant to be used like this. They are very thin down here at the base and they also have developed their like own gel for this system they call BTMMA. Their BTMMA is permeable. So the light is able to reach the gel and cure. And then of course, one of the things I love is the pre-painted French tip, but they do also have like regular tips with nothing painted on. And they also have other cool ones like cat's eye and stuff like that. With the design, they also have different color bases for the nail, which I really love. They have this shade, which is a little bit darker. They have like a bright pink. They have like this more like peachy nude color and something new that they just came out with with perfect timing for summer is their new toe tips. They just launched these and they come in this French, which also of course matches these tips. And of course these come in multiple shades too. So you have like the pink one here that's going to match these pink tips. And the toe tips are used the same way you would prep and apply your fingernail tips. So they're also super easy to use. And I feel like they look really natural too. Of course today I'm gonna to be using extra long ones, but they do come in shorter sizes. So now that I've introduced you to the system, let's do some nails. I'm gonna do all 10 fingers today, so that'll be fun. So today I'm gonna to use these tips. They are extra long with like a nude peachy base and of course the French design. So although all I've showed you today is this like square French design, these tips also come in other shapes and designs and of course lengths. I'm going to be using extra long today and I actually ordered these ones myself. I also, you know, actually ordered these coffin ones. Something I really like is some of these tips come in different options in like the same package. So I have this like mocha color here and then I have this like pinkish color, a cream, a dark brown, and lastly like a warmer pink set. So I love that there's like different options in this one. So these come laid out differently than pretty much any other tip I've ever tried before, but I really like it. It makes sizing really, really easy. So let's get started. First is the prep. Of course, because I do my nails so often, I don't have a lot of like overgrown cuticle or anything like that. But first you would want to start by pushing your cuticles back and make sure to like scrape down the edges and stuff like that because that is where you're at risk of lifting. Once these nails are on, they are stuck on there, but you wanna make sure that your prep is good so they stay stuck on there. If you're having trouble like pushing your cuticle back, you can always use cuticle softener. I personally would recommend though to do that and then maybe like wait an hour before you continue on with your nails because sometimes cuticle softener can hydrate your nail bed and you don't want that for tips. You want them to be very dry when you put on the gel. And then of course you want to clip off any of that dead skin. Again, I only have a little bit because I do my nails so often, but I somehow still always have hangnails and stuff like that just because of how often I wash my hands. And then I'm just going to clean off my nail just to like get any dust off and I can see better. But cleaning off your nail if you've used any cuticle softener or cuticle oil recently is very, very important. Next, we're gonna need to rough up the surface of our nails. So I just like to do this very lightly. I'm using the finer side of my file. You don't want to be putting much pressure we only need like the 
very top surface to have these edges in it and this will help the gel to adhere and you want to especially make sure you're getting around your cuticle. I like to use these like little rounded edges on the file to get around there. So I will do that to each nail. Once you've filed, they should look something like this, like kind of crusty and dusty. <laughs> then you'll want to, of course, clean this up with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe. I personally recommend using 91% or above for your rubbing alcohol. And if you want to go a step further with it, you can also use a dehydrator just to really make sure that everything is nice and dry. I love watching that. Now today I'm going to be using these extra long nude French tips. This nude is more of like a pale peachy tone that I feel like works perfectly on my skin tone. As you can see, these tips come packaged differently than a lot of other tips. And I actually really like it this way. I wasn't sure if I would, but it makes it so easy to size your nails out. It is so quick with just being able to like switch back and forth really easily. Now there are a lot of sizes in this. It goes from zero to 15 so you get 16 sizes which is a lot when you're picking the size for your tip you want to make sure that you're not having any edges that are going to be unsealed so for example like this one say you're like oh i think that fits but you can slide it over and sort of see that gap there that does not fit so we'd go up and sliding it back and forth it doesn't really move which is what we want and there is no gap on the end so i'll grab that one they pop off really easily. And my sizes are pretty much normally all the same for both hands. So I'm just gonna pop off the other one too. And then we'll size this one out. I really do like to wiggle it back and forth to try to tell if it fits. Getting that little gap there or not really does make a difference for like longevity of the tips. All right, that one looks good to me. We'll grab that one off and the other one. And of course do it for the rest of them. With these, I was a little concerned that I wouldn't have a size for one of my nails because I do tend to wear the same size on both my pointer and ring finger. A lot of the sizes are very close together, so there isn't a huge difference, so there definitely isn't an issue with that. In fact, I took all of my sizes off of a set and then I went to see if I could make another set because I was like, well, that's a lot of nails that I wouldn't be using and I absolutely could. I would just have to file a little bit more. I could absolutely get two sets out of this one little sheet here if I just do a little bit more filing. Now that the sizes are all laid out we can sort of like customize them to our cuticle shape. I don't need to do much but these are a little bit more square and my cuticles tend to be a little bit more round so I'm just going to shape the cuticle area just a tiny bit. You want to make sure that you're not scratching up the white though because if you file that of course it's going to come off. And I'm just going to do that to any that I feel like could fit just even better. And we are on to the gel part of this kit. So we've got our gel glue, builder gel, and of course a top coat. They give you that builder gel to help protect your French design because if you only use a top coat over like the, I don't know, 30 plus days these can last, just the white part on it might start to chip. But if you put a builder gel over that really like seals everything in and gives that some more strength and more of a protective layer over that and it'll keep everything on the nail. So you can if you want to, but for this, you don't need to put a layer of the gel glue on your nail and cure it before you put the tip on. You can kind of just do it in like one swift motion. So for me, since I have flatter nail beds, what I'm going to do is get my gel glue. And like I said, these are already prepped and primed, so we don't need to do anything to the underside of the tip. And I'm going to put the gel glue where my natural nail is going to be. And this gel glue is a very thick gel, but it's not like a solid gel, although they do also have solid gel for this. But this is a pretty thick brush on gel. So you're gonna wanna put that where your nail is going to be in not a super thin layer, but also not a thick layer either. And because I have flatter nail beds, I am going to put a drop of the gel glue on the center of my nail. But if you have more curved nail beds, you're gonna wanna put that dollop of gel on the edge of your nail to fill in the gap. Then to put on the nail, you're gonna wanna put it on at like a 45 degree angle and then push down. And then I give mine a flash cure just so it doesn't move while it's in the lamp. And then I'm going to give it a full cure with a full size lamp. They have said that for this kit, you do not wanna use anything under eight watts. Although I personally would recommend a little bit higher. <laughs> 
for also just in general because if you're putting any design or any other gel over some like pigmented gels just won't cure without a stronger lamp and there we have it nice and easy i really like putting on the gel this way and putting the tip on and curing in like one swift motion. I feel like it saves a lot of time not having to cure a base coat. Again, you wanna put it like at an angle where you want it, put down and then. And how much gel to put on is really just going to depend on your own nail. You'll get the hang of it after a couple times. If this is your first time, it's most likely going to be either too much or too little, so that is totally fine. There is a learning curve. And here we are. Here's how they look all on. I feel like they look so nice. I really like the shape on these. You really don't need to do any shaping to the sides. But lastly, we need to file off this little tip. So we want to do that lightly and we don't want to like tilt or file too much this way because otherwise that will take off the white color on top. So you want to make sure it is parallel. And here we have it. And I'm just going to do that for each nail. And then I'm just going to wipe to make sure we got all of the dust off. So of course I'm going to do a design, but if I wasn't, I would put the builder gel on and then the top coat. But I'm going to put my design under the builder gel just so my design isn't like higher up than the white on the tip. I feel like sometimes you can get like a little bit of a shadow if you do that, which it's fine, but I just don't want that for this design. I want to do something like springy. So I grabbed some pastel gels and I want to do a different color checkerboard on each nail. I feel like that's like a fun little design on the French tip. We'll start with the thumb. I'm also just like freehanding this. I also could like line it out before I start, but I think that I can do it. These tips are a deep French, so they don't have like a ton of the white, which I actually love. I feel like it makes it look very like slender. Just trying to keep straight on this. All right, I feel like we're off to an okay start. I was debating on if I wanted to do checkerboard or like a picnic blanket pattern, but I've been really into checkerboard lately for some reason. Although I do feel like even just the lines by themselves are a look. And now we are just filling in. Now for these just little like hard to reach areas. So done with this nail, I love it. I think it looks really cute. So on with the rest. Next up, we'll do purple. So although I really love this design, I might do something different on my other hand. Maybe some rhinestones. Tips like this with a like, you know, like pre-done French and a pre-done design and a color already on it won't get used in my videos very much because I'm putting a design on top, we're testing other things. But when these tips do get used a lot is whenever I am doing a set not for camera. Sometimes I'm like in between sets, in between videos and I wanna go out. I do not like going out without nails. Okay, they're like my security blanket. So I will pop on a quick set if I'm going out to do something. And these are the kinds of tips I use. I will almost always, nine out of 10 times, use a tip with like some sort of color on it or the French design because they are just like so easy and they're practically already done. So then I can just like throw on like a little design or I can just put a couple of rhinestones and it looks like, you know, I spent some time on them. So that's when these tips will get used the most just because they're so convenient. And most likely if I'm needing to like put on a quick set, I don't have time to do like a full design or anything like that. This one is not turning out quite as even, but it's okay. Let's fill it in. I think this design might be one of my new favorites. It's simple, but I feel like it just looks so cute. But for the other hand, I am going to do something different. I feel like I have so many ideas all the time and like so many options in my head with sets that I just have to do multiple. So we're gonna do rhinestones. We're gonna do these like little flower star rhinestones on the center, like kind of at the top of the French. Then I'm gonna do color matching rhinestones to the other hand. So like I'll do, so like I'll do pink rhinestones on this one, purple on this one, blue on this one, green on this one, yellow on this one. I have all of the rhinestones picked out, but we gotta put away a couple. Now we are ready to go. So since we need to put builder gel on top, I think I'm just going to put the rhinestones straight into the builder gel. So I'm just giving my nails again a quick wipe, just to make sure they're all clean and ready for that gel. 
and they are ready for rhinestones. Grab my builder gel and it is pretty thick as builder gel should be. I know it's definitely not what it's meant for, but I feel like this will hold my rhinestones in just fine. To ensure the French doesn't chip, you also want to make sure that you are wrapping the edges of the nails, so that includes the top and the sides. So we got pink here, but first I'm going to put my dar flower here, and we'll just add our pink rhinestones. And then same thing, builder gel for this. Then again, this cute little star. And this one will be purple. Now for green. I love this specific color of green. I found these and I was like, I've never seen any of this color before. I feel like it's so pretty. So here's what we have. I really love these. I feel like the two sets together too, I feel like they match well. So we need to put the builder gel on this hand and the top coat on this hand. So let's do the final steps. So we'll do our builder gel on this. I feel like it'll even out the checkerboard area too because some of those areas are a little thick since I was trying to build up the pigment. I didn't want to do two coats on them. I really like this builder gel too because it really stays in place. Like it's thick but still movable but I haven't had any like run into my cuticles or anything like that which I very much appreciate. Make sure we're doing the tip and the sides. Then of course cure. Let's get this top coat on. This top coat is like very slidey. I don't know how else to describe it, but I love when they're like that. Like it just glides. And also be sure to also wrap the top and the sides with the top coat as well. And here we are. I've done no filing to the sides of these and they've kept their shape so well, even with like the builder gel and stuff like that. That's one thing I really love about these tips. The shape of these is so nice. I love how they kept their shape even with the builder gel and a top coat. I feel like they're still like so slim and I didn't file the sides of these whatsoever. I also really love how streamlined their process is. Like there's as minimal steps as possible. So it's really quick to put them on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these sets. Once again, thank you BT Artbox for sponsoring this video. I truly love these tips and I'm gonna be using them anytime I am in between sets just to like quickly pop on and decorate. I feel like it's so handy. I think I'm also gonna pick up some like just plain color ones because I really like the shape of these. They're very tapered, but they fit really well still. Although I would love to see some even longer tips. Hopefully we'll get that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye.